Around midday today, the body of 22-year-old Jose Zelaya Jr. was laid to rest at the cemetery in San Joaquin Village, Corozal District. Relatives and close friends gathered to witness his burial after a post-mortem examination this morning certified that the Belize City resident who was reported missing on Tuesday was murdered, shot multiple times to the head and chest. A post-mortem is currently ongoing at this time to determine the cause of death. Um, there were no visible injuries aside from some injuries to his feet. However, as I mentioned before, the post-mortem is currently ongoing at this time. On Wednesday evening, the decomposing body of Zelaya Jr. was discovered in a cane field north of Calcutta Village, where his father lived. His father feared the worst when his son did not arrive to the village on Sunday and alleged that he had been kidnapped and killed. On Tuesday, 22nd May, um, Corozal police received a report of a missing person in relation to Jose Antonio Zelaya. As a result, um, searches conducted in the Corozal town area. And yesterday, acting upon information, shortly after 3 p.m., police were called to an area in an off road north of Calcutta village where they observed the lifeless body of Jose Antonio Zelaya in an advanced state of decomposition. Two persons are currently in detention pending further investigation into this homicide. While Zelaya Sr. believes that his son was killed because of an incident involving a younger brother, a motive has not been fully established by the police department. Police have two persons who they are questioning in regards to his disappearance at this time. Okay, now, uh, in an interview yesterday, his father said that he knows that he believes his son may have been targeted for an incident involving his younger brother, I believe. Um, is this, is the younger brother someone that has been questioned, or is this a lead that you all are looking at? Um, yes, the police are looking at several um, leads in relation to this matter, and I believe the father um, will be spoken to as well um, later today but several persons who the police believe are of interest in relation to this investigation are being questioned. In this particular crime, um, are you all, is it so far, is it indicative of some grudge or some retaliation for activities in the Corazon district or is it that something from Belize City followed him all the way up there. His father said that he always felt on the run and believed it from a bad man, from one man and from the police. Um, no, the, at this point in time, as I mentioned, the investigation is still ongoing and we were not able to determine a motive as yet, but we are continuing. Yeah, but, I, okay, so I'm just trying to find local actors or believe city actors? We do not know at this point in time. Dwayne Moody for News 5.